are back at the gig and see my friend. If you don't know now, you know this. Hey, say sound is what they call me. Cal Williams going buck wild in these comedy streets. Let's get straight into his club, Shay Shay interview. Just a, just a snippet of his club, Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp interview. Let's go. For all of them, it don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. TG Jakes, any of them, the, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, Yo, and, and anyone, tell, tell me y'all saw it. You ever been swallowed up? <laughs> swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you... You ever been swallowed up? <laughs> like, just him saying T.D. Jake's name just made me think of that video. That's all. <laughs> Takes that the wrong way? Know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. Amen. I have no more of these. Amen, amen. Jesus she, is alive. Light of the world. Light of the world. Light of the world. Shout out to Hezekiah Walker. After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't ready. Right. He wasn't ready. We good now? Because the people want to know, well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah. Oh, because because, because in 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, uh -oh. knowledge, uh -oh. and your secrets. Oh. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing. You will tell it. No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. They all know it. Why? Because you don't make me the villain. Not the guy that raises black children and ain't never done a hard drug in his life and don't have no stories of doing nobody dirty. I'm going to let that go. <laughs> and they'll just go out and they'll lie. The the industry doesn't mess with Cat because he didn't show up for the studio. No studios have ever said that. Look at my IMDb. It will show you that no mm -hmm. studio has ever lost money with me on the script. How? Never. That's why I'm saying, that's why I can't let Ricky Smiley say he was supposed to play Money Mike. Because I wrote the words for Money Mike. Mm. I designed the hair for Money Mike. Mm. I collaborated with the wardrobe department and made outfits to make sure that no one in America would be wearing what Money Mike was wearing. Wow. I told him to go get the Prowler. I then mm. told him to paint it purple. I told him don't have an actor at playing a pimp. We could get an actual pimp Archbishop Magic Don Juan to yeah. play. Like, I I did. Bruh, I don't care what nobody said. Cat Williams and Money Mike is one of the like the the coldest characters of all time. Like he really was. You couldn't tell me for like the next three years that he wasn't Money Mike. Like you couldn't tell me. I don't care what stand up Cat Williams did. You could not tell me he wasn't Money Mike. Not till Pip Chronicles came out. Till like, oh, this nigga ain't really a. <laughs> he really played that. Like he really played that. Come on now. He really did that. Like the wardrobe, he was clean, clean, clean. Yo, yeah, he played that. Um, yeah, I, I, I remember seeing, because I watched Club Shay Shay. I remember Ricky Smiley talking about um, he auditioned for Money Mike. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, yeah, that wouldn't have worked out. But um, I guess Cat Williams took offense to that, I guess. I don't know. Far too much work mm -hmm. for somebody to come years later and try to tag along just for their own self-aggrandizement. Why mm -hmm. didn't Cube set the record straight? Terry Crews could have set the record straight. Mike Epps could have set the record straight. Why none of them set the record straight? That's what you were supposed to ask him when he told you those lies that but no I didn't one's know ever heard. Right, but he's telling you something no one's ever heard of. Nobody has ever heard. Oh, Matt Aff Ben Affleck and Matt Damon was in a movie, and somebody said, y'all should switch roles. And, like, <laughs> this is a business. But that's the thing, Kat. <laughs> Normally, when people are giving you information... Where I get this shirt from? I like this. I like this, even though uh, <laughs> I would need a, a, a couple more extra, extra, extra large on that shirt, probably. But I like that with a little hood, a little, you know. 
I like that, but yeah, go ahead. I'm thinking I'm hearing it for the first time, and they're giving information no one else knows or have ever heard. So I'm taking them at yeah, face value. Yeah, you can put that on lot. This is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's mm. my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. When he really? Ron Curry was touring with him 25 years ago, he was making $3,000 a show in cash and doing five shows a week. They, they just tell Now, hold on now. Now, if we're going specifically by your words, 25 years ago was 99. He was doing original, original Kings of Comedy by that time. So I, I would hope he was making 3000 a show. Um, but that's that's interesting. That is not true. Now, at the end of the day, I don't, I don't really think that matters. I don't think people looked at Steve Harvey like any different, whether he was homeless or not homeless. But I do not. I find it to be interesting, though, if that is true. That is interesting. Stories. This my thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget oh. that. You told us it was her. Then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Like what are you doing? Wow. <laughs> he said your first yo. That's cra that is crazy. You said you said that about your first wife. So you got somebody else to think like a man. That yo. I'll tell you one thing. I remember when Think Like a Man came. I like I love the movies though. I ain't gonna hold you. I think like a man one and two. I got both on still on DVD still. But I remember when Steve Harvey came, I'm like, who made this nigga a relationship guru? Talk about 90 gotta wait 90 days. It was like, nigga, what? Who made this nigga a relationship guru? Just because he wears a suit and got a bald head, all of a sudden now he could be a relationship guru? Like, okay. But yeah, <laughs> that's crazy, yo, cat. Cat is shooting from the logo right now, bro. Talking about, they just they think they can rewrite history. Mm -hmm. the, uh, uh, Guy Tory did a beautiful special about the Comedy Store and Fat Tuesday, where he said that Steve that. and Cedric and yeah. Kevin Hart and Tiffany Haddish came through there and made all lies. Steve and Cedric never performed at the Comedy Store at all. Tiffany was mm. only seen at the Laugh Factory. Mm. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy he club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to L.A. and in his first year in L.A. he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person uh -huh. or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. Wait, uh, hold on. <laughs> hold on. Sit down, sit up. Sit. Hold on. Uh, okay. I'll try to think the first time I remember... That is interesting. The first time I remember seeing Kevin Hart, even though he's from Philly, around my air, the first time I remember seeing Kevin Hart, no, was it? Well, I think was Soul Plane. I think 40-year-old version, I think, was maybe right after that. But, yeah, it's like, that is interesting because, yeah, I know Kevin Hart, he was known as, I, I, I watched all the docs, I know uh, he was, there's footage of him being around Patrice O'Neal and, and the Colin Quinns being all tough crowd and all that. Like, he was around. And he, did, he didn't have, I don't remember him having any type of special comedy set. Like, Comedy Central used to bang, 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 bang. They used to have all kinds of of, of, of drawings. I don't remember him on none of them. Like, I don't remember him doing anything. And he did jump out the window and have uh, Kevin's, I think Kevin's big house, a big Kevin's house. And simultaneously soul plane. And I never seen him before that before that time. So that's very intriguing. I don't know if he a plan or not. But I do not find I find it to be interesting that he did have all those things when again he didn't have, I don't remember him having a Def Comedy Jam set, a comic view set. Really not like not, I used to watch all them joints too. I don't remember him having none of that. So I do not. I find it to be interesting, but at the end of the day, once he did start getting popping, I love all his joints at least for like the first five years, from uh, uh, grown little man to seriously funny to 
uh, last time I paid, all the majorans were block buses in my opinion. Like bong, bong, bong. Like so. But yeah, before that, I don't know how he, he got his deals because I don't remember seeing him at all before then. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it was. So how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And mm. I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. <laughs> like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe. I can't get over that. that. Liars still, still... not get to make complete narrative. And where's the Martin? Keep the lie alive. <laughs> keep the lie alive. Juicy smoothie, juicy smoothie A gonna keep the lie alive. Shout out to him. But that, yeah, that still is crazy to me, man. He could have had the world. He had talented and all that. Like I don't know what possessed Juicy Smoothie A <laughs> to do what he did. But yeah, lying until you say we don't believe you. Mm -hmm. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. Mm. That includes blessings for his people. Talk that's that. Why, you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. It's a Gary, cabal. Gary it's Owens, a, talented it's as hell. It's a consortium. They I remember the first time I saw Gary Owens. What Again, going back, I remember him. It was on Comic View. I think it was the, the season to where Ricky Smiley was hosting. And he like he he ripped this one uh, black woman in the crowd that kept heckling him. Like I remember that like it was yesterday, bro. Like Kevin Gary Owens been out here a minute, bro. Like he been doing a damn thing. And the fact that he never became he he he's still who he is. But the fact that he never like blew up, I think Cat Williams got a point, bro. Like he not to say that he didn't blow up, but like Gary Owens should be on a on a Kevin Hart top level in terms of his comedy is great. He's always been true. He's always been, well, I don't know it personally, but it seemed like he's always been true to himself. So, yeah, I don't know how. Like, I, I would think he would have been on a Bill Burr level. That's what I mean. Like, he, like Bill Burr got the got a white audience, black audience. So I found it to be very interesting. Yeah, Gary Owens, man. Yeah, but he's still, he's still doing his thing, though, so. They rock with who they rock with, and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, mm. on paper, they're a better team. Right. Mm -hmm. They have all the assets and resources, and we don't. Mm -hmm. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, mm. and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Mm. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he Absolutely. always was. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers. Yeah. I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out. But he offered to suck my penis in front of all my people at my agency. What? What am I supposed to do? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there. It's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they <laughs> did? Wait a minute. Well, I don't probably because I don't know. I don't know when he said it, or where he said it, but that is insane, Harvey. Wow. If that is true, that is crazy. If he really did that, but again, power. When you got sort of power, you think you can get away with anything, especially against black folk. The fact that if he was that bold enough to do that in front of Cat, Cat not only Cat Williams, but in front of his entire uh, agency, and nobody did not, that, man, boy, boy. Told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> and the fact that other people were there, he told him now. It was like I saw all the black people there. I'm like, what did y'all do to get the... Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. 
Mm. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. Mm. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. Right. I've not been funded. Mm. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. Mm. They tell you that themselves. Well, I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The mm. only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand up comedy mm -hmm. with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig and I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand up anymore. Imagine him coming to tell you another story where he got so big and it was Bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars. So, oh, you know what's crazy? I remember that. I remember because I used to be heavy into one of my favorite podcasts or radio shows ever, Jamie Foxx and the Foxhole with uh, Claudia Jordan, Corey Holcomb, TDP, Speedy, uh, uh, Lewis Dix. Uh, 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 I can't, I think that's Johnny, Johnny motherfucking Mac, uh, POTUS. Like, I remember when they were going crazy about the whole, cat. this had to be late. Was this late 09? Or late oh eight, I think it was late oh nine. I think it was late oh nine when Cat Williams and Steve Harvey was going into it. I think Steve Harvey just cut his hair, and Cat Williams was like, "Yo, you're not even like that, bro. Like you're not even that funny." Like I remember that. So now I don't know if that's the reason why they stopped, why Steve Harvey stopped doing comedy. I remember, I remember watching his last special. That had to be two thousand like eleven, um, but. I do remember that time. I don't know if Cat Williams is the reason why he stopped doing stand up, but I do remember that time of of the comedy uh championship between Cat and Steve Hart. That was man, that what a time, man. That was a different type of time, bro. Foxhole radio. It, <laughs> yo, I wish I yo. I gotta go back and listen to them drums, man. Them drums are special, bro. Oh uh, man. What's cracking other than the crack of your ass? <laughs> man, y'all don't know, man. I used to listen to them joints every day after uh, after uh, class. You called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What? What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie, I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have you ever been on truth? Wait, you, you trying to take my... You trying to take Bernie Max Ocean's Eleven role? Nah, tell me that ain't true, bruh. Tell me that ain't true, bruh. Nah, bruh. That's crazy, bro. Again, if that is true, but that's crazy. Tour with any of these guys. The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you, what is you called Ocean Eleven to get that nigga's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? So on the behalf of Bernie... I, I would have to say what I have to say. Have you ever been on? Truth. Have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, so no. <laughs> Faison's never done his own tour in thirty years. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. Mm. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, he doesn't what? write. What? Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young family. Okay, hold on, hold on. You, uh, hey, 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 hey. Now, Ricky Smiley, Ricky Smiley might, not, might not be the best actor in the world, but I, 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 I love me some Ricky Smiley now. I'm going to need you to ease up a little bit. I love me some Ricky Smiley now. Cedric, uh, he's talented, I don't know. But I love me some Ricky Smiley. Like, relax, relax, cat, relax. Steve Harvey don't do stand up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry, That's crazy. he doesn't write. That's crazy. Ricky That's true. Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like you can't get a young fan base with that. Like you got to be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. 
but I'm a stand-up comedian. This mm -hmm. is my 19th 100 city tour. Mm. I'm not gonna have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym, but you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no, there's too many comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Okay, mm. let's get to your upbringing. We're gonna circle back and we'll get some uh -huh. I want to protect him real quick, because you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019, but did you mean 1999? Because it came out in 2000, so I just want to make... The no, I didn't, no, no, no. So what I meant to say was, remember, he said, I couldn't do stand-up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I said he didn't have any of those TV shows at the time. I know, you talking about, about Cedric. Joke stealer. Cedric. Yeah, it's Cedric. Oh, okay. So you have so, said that okay. 2018, 2019, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure. Okay, no, 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 no. What comes out in 2000? The, King, the original Kings of Comedy. Right. My, I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're mm -hmm. using this as the commercial in 1998. Okay. That's why I'm saying, yeah. So, so if I, yeah. Right. So if I yeah. said the dates oh, wrong, just, yeah. Just, yeah. So yes. let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said. Yeah. I had Cedric on here, and I asked him about the joke stealing, and yeah. he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point, you say, right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian, and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. Mm -hmm. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the commercial of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. Mm -hmm. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up, it takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke. Shout because to Mark I Curry. thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, mm -hmm. and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. Mm -hmm. 1998, I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy and he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. I think I remember. Yo, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. Wait, stop, stop. Again, I used to watch all them joints, Comic View, all them joints. I think I know what he's talking about. Cause uh 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 Cat Williams had a joint about the uh the car. About the, um like something about a car and like how how you play music loud, but then you gotta like I, I forget what the setup was, but something about driving a car, then you had to get out and push it up a hill and then drop turn the music back up and then drive down the hill with the and the spaceship drawing was set. That was my favorite, one of my favorite jokes from the... Yo, man, this... Bro! Yo, come on, man. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to... I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do... As I stand before you, Shannon. Nice shoes. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric, Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But 
We don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for, is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times. Just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling yeah. you about. <laughs> right. Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to party. And you got to tell him no. What? Wait, wait, no. wait, I, wait, wait, I did. wait, wait. I did. See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I can yeah, say yeah, them I, I so can, freely. Can, 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 I need, can I need to know? You yeah, mean, I, 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 well, thank you, sir. Thank I, all you. I got to say is I'm going to come on. Because early on, you was accusing me of being... Can't. Man. Can't. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> because I'm favored by God. Like, when I see people's wives and stuff, I don't even look at them. You know what I mean? Like, I... I don't want to look at nothing I don't want to have because I, I know how blessed I am. If I look at it, I got it. <laughs> That's how Diddy be feeling. Now, come on, man. Come on. If I look at it, I got it. <laughs> I don't want to have that type of flight. Well, I look at it, I got it. <laughs> Talk, cat. <laughs> so you're not supposed to look at anything that you don't want. Not me personally, just because God has given me literally everything I ever even pump faked like I want. And uh, that's the whole thing. That's, that's the whole thing is I don't, I don't have a type of woman. Every woman that I ever had as a type, I ended up getting her. Now she's not the type anymore. Now I understand that every woman is a one of one. Like you can't really have types. Mm. 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 Preach. Cat Williams was on his Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't get over that Cedric the end. I can't get over set because I know what Cat is talking about with his comic view set. I can't get over. That's interesting. But um, let me know what you think about the whole Cat Williams situation. This is only like a small part in the entire interview. I did. I don't have time. In terms of doing reaction, I don't have time to watch a whole interview and do reactions. So let me know if there's anything else you want me to discuss or react to regarding this Cat Williams interview. Um, but like, comment, subscribe, share all the things, other things. Shout out to Cat Williams, man. A true king of comedy. A legend of comedy. Stay true to himself. It reminds me of Pat Patrice O'Neill. He reminds... Cat Williams, Cat Williams reminds me of Patrice O'Neill. Patrice O'Neill, I feel like, was... Uh, and Bernie Mac. They're the one, one of few... That really told you how it was in Hollywood and and how things are set up and how people aren't who they say they are and you really got to play the game in order to make it in, in comedy and in, and in entertainment. Um, definitely, he was definitely on this Patrice O'Neill uh, top vibe. R.P. Bernie Mac. R.P. Patrice O'Neill. But uh, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share all things of the things. Let me know what you think about Kathleen. It was everything he said. Ain't gotta go home. Dude, gotta get the hell up out of here. Peace.